A Seminole County student is dead after someone fired several gunshots in a parking lot of a Sanford apartment complex. West News Tonight, Gabriel Gattigas reports police believe the victim was targeted at the Stratford Point Apartments. 16 year old Jamarcus Parker was hanging out with some friends a Sunday evening in the parking lot of Sanford's Stratford Point Apartments. Police say just before six o'clock, a car drove up near the group, then two people got out. They went up to the group of individuals where the victim, Mr. Parker, was. Um, and they began shooting. The spokesperson for the police department says several rounds were fired and then the shooters went back into the car and drove away. Parker was hit at least twice and died at the hospital. He was a student at Journeys Academy. Regardless of what the problem was, this was not how it should have been handled because he's gone. Uh, we can't get him back. His family can't get him back. Officers know who owns the car that was involved in the shooting. They're asking people who live in the area to share any videos they may have to help them solve the case. It does appear that the uh, victim and the suspects on some level are known to each other, that the victim was targeted and it is an isolated incident. Officers found a car and a pickup truck with bullet holes at the crime scene. It was a very uh, active uh, parking lot around that apartment complex, people coming and going on their Sunday afternoons. So uh, the fact that only two vehicles were hit is a little bit surprising as close quarters as that parking lot was. That's why we're asking for any of that surveillance footage, all those angles, all those vantage points help us really piece together what exactly occurred. In a statement, a spokesperson for Seminole County Public Schools said in part, we are deeply saddened by this tragic loss. Our hearts are with Parker's family, friends, and faculty members. In Sanford, Sanai Gebregetigas, Wash 2 News. The school district is offering grief counselors to students and staff.